Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming out in the rain. I, uh, for those of you I haven't actually met yet, I'm Yoni Greenbaum, I'm Chief Operating Officer here. Uh, I want to take a moment to welcome all of you, uh, our Board of Directors, uh, my fellow team members, and everyone joining us online um, at this historic moment uh, for Lehigh Valley Public Media. On this day in 1789, George Washington declared October 3rd Thanksgiving Day. It wasn't until 1863 that Abraham Lincoln uh, changed it to the third Thursday in November. But today, as I stand before you, I want to channel President Washington and use this as a moment to express my thanks. This has been quite a journey, and we wouldn't have gotten to this point without all of your help. Whether you're a board member who helped us craft a tight business plan, a member of our senior leadership team who helped craft report after report, spreadsheet after spreadsheet, and presentation after presentation, or a member of our team who provided feedback, suggestions, comments, or questions, all of you have played a significant role. So I want to just say thank you to each of you for what you have done to allow us to get to this point. Now I want to introduce our executive editor who will lead LeahValleyNews.com as we move out of the building phase Please welcome Jim Deegan. Thank you, Yoni. Thanks for your work and for your vision to the commitment of local journalism. Um, so many people have had a hand in getting us to this day. It's taken a lot of work. It's taken a lot of effort. It's taken a lot of moving parts. Lifetime milestones have gone into this. People have moved from thousands of miles. People have taken new jobs. People have been promoted. Every department and every facet of our organization, of this public media company, has played a role in this. So it's impossible to thank everyone individually right now, but I want to thank you all collectively for getting us to this day. It feels good to finally, finally get to this point, launch. But today completes one phase of our development. Now the hard part begins. Building people's trust, honoring the privilege of being able to tell people's stories, becoming something that people need every day. It is a daunting responsibility, but I'm confident that this team, all of us, can deliver on that. I am humbled, I am honored to be taking part in building a team of journalists, in building a news team, rather than trying to delicately dismantle one. Anybody who has spent any time in the Lehigh Valley working for Lehigh Valley Media Company or working for uh, 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 broadcast and print knows what I'm talking about. Any, any news consumer knows what I'm talking about. Uh, it's been a difficult time, but th this is different. So I want to introduce a couple of people who have been at the forefront of this mission. Donna Natosi and Jen Rehill. Don Donna has been with us just a few months, uh, and she has managed the uh, overwhelming project of getting us a functioning live website, which I'm happy to say we have now. Jen has been with us a few years. She leads our reporting staff, which today and over the last several months has been growing significantly. So I can't thank them enough for their work. I'm going to uh, turn it over to them. And um, thank you all for uh, everything you've done, truly, um, the last several months. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jim, and thanks, Yoni. It's so amazing to be here today. When we launched our radio station, WLVR, three years ago, we started producing and broadcasting daily news throughout the Le Lehigh Valley, throughout the day. Who could have imagined we'd be here now? Launching lehighvalleynews.com. It's amazing, and I just, I just want to like throw a round of applause on that. It's so cool. 
standing here today, I am so proud of the work that our team has been doing. Grateful to our senior VP of radio, Christine Dempsey, for all of her vision, Woo! for her support, for her encouragement when we were starting up the little radio station, and to the original team, Brad Klein, Jonas Bowen, Tyler Pratt. We got it off the ground, and now here we go. I'd also like to recognize everyone on the news team and at the company who's risen to the occasion for this new journalism initiative. And I'm really excited about what we're going to do next. Providing news and information from every corner of the valley with our expanded team of reporters, editors, digital content producers. Today, it feels like despite the rain, the sky is the limit. Um, and I know that we all agree that as a public media organization, we take our commitment to this region real seriously. To provide trustworthy, reliable, and timely stories that aim to inform, inspire, and enrich the lives of the residents here in the Lehigh Valley. Because a more informed community is a more empowered community. And that's what we're here to do. So give it up. Woohoo! Donna Natosi, I'm going to throw it over to you. Anybody who knows me knows I'm not the type to write a speech. I don't need to. Winging it is more authentic, as Mariella said. Um, I'm one of those people who dropped what I was doing in North Carolina and came up here because I really believed in what we were trying to do. I've worked for TV stations um, and really tried to push digital and social because that's where our audience is. And the idea of getting to build a product and launch a product that is local focused and digital focused, there was no way I was going to pass it up. Um, my digital team, small and mighty, we're growing. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for the work you've done, the hours you've put in, um, our catchphrase the entire time we were building this site is, this is fine, everything's fine. <laughs> Even when things really weren't fine, we knew that on the other side of it, we were going to have a really robust digital product that would serve our community in the ways that we felt so strongly about. So I'm excited. Um, this is just a new phase of challenges, but I'm confident with the team that we have that it's going to be great. Thank you. You really made me stand for that? Okay. Check. Uh, oh, the <laughs> different movie lines that we could come up with on a day like today, but I think we're just going to go with the uh, basic Caddyshack. I don't think the heavy stuff's coming down for a while. Uh, and thank God I didn't use an inkjet to uh, print these, or uh, we wouldn't, uh, I would have to go the Donna route and make it up as I go along, and you never let an Irish guy have an open microphone uh, without a script. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, because some uh, folks we've just gotten to meet in person, I'm Tim Fallon, I'm the CEO of Lehigh Valley Public Media, and if it seems like I have a perma grin on, that would be correct. This is one of the happiest days of my life, and thank you all for making that uh, come together. Last Thursday, Christine uh, noted at the all-team meeting that September 29th marked the day that WLVT-TV went on the air in 1965. Just a few things have happened in the last 57 years. From our start on the mountaintop, uh, back over my shoulder, as primarily a pass-through TV station, to our development as one of the premier local educational resources, We've got 48 years of scholastic scrimmage, and we're one of the few ready-to-learn uh, recipients in the nation. To our move to the Steel Stacks campus right here in Bethlehem in 2011, and making some of the best local television in the country. Then launching Lehigh Valley Reads, and our beginning to program WLVR 91.3 FM uh, for Lehigh University. It has been a steady journey of progress, with a singular goal of making our Lehigh Valley community a better place for all of our fellow citizens. Today marks yet another important milestone, a desperately needed hyper-local news service that'll shine light where it is needed the most. This is not, I repeat, not 
a pivot of what Lehigh Valley Public Media is doing, but rather it is a strategic placement of increased resources as we continue to execute on our award-winning legacy business lines. I do want to make a rather blunt statement. What we are embarking on with LehighValleyNews.com is not a vanity exercise, nor is it a thinly veiled political statement for the left or for the right. Instead, we are staking out for the entire Lehigh Valley a nonpartisan, highly researched, in-depth reporting platform that will share the news and information that our community needs to make decisions, not what decisions they should make. Let me repeat that. We're pro providing information for people to make their own decisions, not telling them what decisions to make. I want to close by thanking everyone who has been a part of today's celebration. For some of us, this has been years in the making, and for the internal teams that have been working on this kind of mono-focus, uh, these past couple of months have seemed like years. Uh, I also want to especially recognize our board members, a number of whom are here today. Thank you very much. Uh, without their, their strong support, this effort would still just be a white paper and some dreams. And I want to particularly recognize our board chair, Su Yi. She has been absolutely tenacious in vetting the plans that we have put together. Her full-throated cheerleading and calm leadership, uh, come on, that was a really good line. Now it's gotten, uh, just, uh, and calm leadership as this has wended its way through our governance process. Sue, would you like to say a few words? Be careful coming up. I, I don't, it's okay. Thank you for the prosthetic height, Tim. Appreciate it. Full-throated cheerleader. Wow. Okay. Well, let's hear it. Does the news stop when it rains? No. Does the news stop when it's cold? No. Does this stop our launch party? No. Hell no. We are here. Thank you. And I'm so glad you're here today. And that full-throated thing is never going to leave me now. <laughs> As chair of the board of Lehigh Valley Public Media, I am thrilled to be part of this rain or shine, this moment, Monday, October 3rd, 2022, will be marked as the day that Lehigh Valley Public Media renewed our commitment to our community by giving the Lehigh Valley more local news on a digital platform than ever before. And we are committed, rain or shine. I know we are, and I know you are too. So we're, we, you know, we are more than public television. We're more than public radio. We are now more, can I hear it? Local! And we are more digital. Leah Bubbly Public Media and PBS 39 has been a part of this community, as Tim said, for over 57 years. And today, my fellow board members of the Lehigh Public Media Board are proud to have dedicated all these great resources standing in front of me right here today. A woohoo for that, right? As an investment into our community to give back. What are we giving? We are giving the information and news about our neighbors and our community to be able to light the flame of caring, to be engaged, and to be in the local know. One of my favorite sayings is you get what you give. Well, today we are giving the Lehigh Valley more Local! And in return, our goal is to get a better Lehigh Valley tomorrow than it is today. So watch, read, or listen any way you want it. This team, you all, are going to deliver the best that Lehigh Valley has to offer 
find out what on lehighvalleynews.com. So hooray to the Lehigh Valley, hooray to Lehigh Valley Public Media, Lehigh Valley Public Media, hooray to us. It news has never been so close to home. Congratulations to us all. Thank you. And we'll watch. Get, get on there, everyone. Get on that website. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited to celebrate. Introducing Lee.